So thanks for taking your time. Uh, My pleasure. <laughs> let's start with a throwback uh, to France, Le Mans, two weeks ago. Another record attendance from the French crowd. Um, why do they have such a feeling for motorsports? Uh, we don't have riders, but we have the fans, the <laughs> but crowd. But they have you, come on. No, yeah, but I mean, there are many riders that can come uh, and in the future. We are working on it. <laughs> but amazing crowds. And it, we can see that there is a real passion about motorbike, but even maybe more than passion for racing, passion just for the motorbike, uh, the freedom that can give the, the motorbike. And what I've been living two weeks ago uh, was amazing and uh, I enjoy it a lot because maybe a bit less pressure at the moment on the races because I cannot fight for a podium. I really try to, uh, okay, I do my work then. I get out of this work and enjoy the crowd and they have been supporting me so much this weekend and uh, I cannot say why. Also, this Grand Prix is in, um, in Le Mans, the organization is quite good. Uh, I mean, they are the, the races of the three categories. They are also the race of uh, the, um, I think it was, the Rookies Cup was there? No, maybe yes. this, yes? Yes. And the Moto E, no. Yeah, Moto E was there also. Sure. So there is some activities on track, but then out of the track, it looks like uh, a big party. And um, now the people can come with the children because in the past with the children was a bit tricky. Now it's much more calm and it's like a big party for, for the weekend and uh, they are activities outside of the racetrack and uh, that gives, I think, the possibility to people to say, okay, we go for a nice weekend, whatever happens uh, on the track. A lot of passion within uh, their mentality. Talking about you, as you mentioned, this season you're not on a race winning bike. So did you expect that kind of support from the fans? What an experience has that been? Um, clearly, not being on the winning bike and leaving uh, the winning bike, I was thinking to have many comments like people telling, oh, why did you quit the winning bike? Um, it's sad, uh, you cannot win anymore, it's finished. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Many sad thoughts and um, not at all and well, that was incredible i've been surprised because they were believing in this project that i want to do with honda and maybe the way now i can speak about it that i'm quite positive it seems uh, the positive uh, i send they, they give me it back and that's uh, so nice because i was i got really um, good energy from them and it gave me <coughs> even more motivation so uh, thanks to them because yeah there were a time where Fabio arrived he has been winning very quickly mm. he got the world title so you could see and it was normal and I was uh, I could just compare but it was not a problem to see that they are more Fabio uh, Fabio's fan than uh, Zarco's fan because all me I'm like a bit older and not winning just of one victory last year and the way to be positive um, I got a big support and in Le Mans I didn't get any feeling of oh there is less Zarco than Fabio and uh, so it's good like just for the uh, like on the proud side <laughs> but uh, it's also good to say hey I'm still alive and uh, I will stay, I will stay. That sounds really amazing. Uh, let's continue with uh, that victory. So many things uh, changed for you during the last month. Um, you closed your chapter with Ducati, probably in the best possible way. Finally, you well-deserved uh, first victory in Premier Class, probably on the most uh, beautiful place on planet Earth, Phillip Island. Um, memories to keep for a lifetime? Sure, sure. Um, I mean, I'm not thinking about it uh, every day and because it's done, it's past, and uh, I want to enjoy the present moment and see, enjoy the, the also the future when it will come. But this victory, Philip Island, I was always impressed by the, by this uh, by this track, like it's an amazing track. And sometimes you ride and you say, 
wow, it looks that you, you did something incredible just to control the MotoGP uh, on this track that is so fast. So I was like looking this circuit with um, almost a, a child uh, eyes and wow, and I've been now a winner on this track. So it means I, I could be uh, the best at least for one moment in this place. And uh, yeah, it's it seems you are in another planet when you are in Phillip Island. And uh, so just for it's so nice that uh, I got the first victory in that place. Yeah, I'd say you picked uh, the best place for that victory. How important has it been uh, for you, not only to mark uh, your name in the history of Premier Class, but also to show everyone that you're still a winner? Yeah, not to show everyone because um, I'm sure people and even the other riders, they knew that I can have the, the speed to win races, but it was not coming. And it was more this weight of, When can be the first one? When can be the first one? Uh, will it be a first one or not? And this was like a weight on the shoulder. And now, boop, uh, nothing anymore. And that it feels so good also to be uh, well in line with this new challenge, to accept to go back in the classification, but still trust that I can get to the front again. But at least I know, okay, something big is done. And, uh, any regrets will be there in case if there are regrets. It's not only this victory, it's also team world champion, uh, champions together with uh, Prama Racing. Besides Jorge fighting for the championship, you were so consistent the whole season, someone the team could really count on. How important is that achievement for you in your career? When you are in the moment of the 2023 season, you don't realize it too much. Then it became um, It becomes um, a target to say, okay, that will be good to take it for the team. Everyone was so focused for the uh, Jorges Martin title. But okay, and I almost realized how important it has been to be team world champion uh, this season. Um, I think we were in Jerez and I went to Pramac uh, on Friday night to say hello. And it was like special party. It was a... Uh, Ramon and gin tonic, <laughs> so it was sure. a special Spanish ham plus special uh, gin tonic uh, cocktail maker. They invite me, I just uh, drink uh, the tonic, not the gin, <laughs> and eat some Ramon. And they told me, look, it was the sticker of the world champion team. They say, this is also part of you, so thank you and we miss you. Ah, and I say, uh, yeah, so I realized uh, yeah, that title was important because now they are showing it that they have been world champion last year and uh, they are telling me that you are clearly part of it. So, ah, uh, yeah, that was important. Do you miss them as well or close that chapter totally? Uh, in some moment, maybe I miss the bike, <laughs> but uh, no, yeah, close the chapter, turn the page, write something new. I'm so happy that this uh, something new is with Lucho Cecchinello, that is super great guy. And also all the guy, guys in the team, uh, I didn't expect it to fit so, so quickly with them. So this uh, helped a lot to, to enjoy now and, uh, and really to believe we, we can do something, give this motivation to, to offer them good results for the work they are doing. I mean, the result is like the, the main uh, to, to satisfy the main one is like myself, but then what I can take good for me will be good also for all the people that are working on the bike. And you, you see this good feeling in the team and uh, Lucho also seems now with all these changes uh, in Honda, get the opportunity maybe to get more important in Honda. And we are seeing this year that just the investment of Honda technically uh, on the technical side is already more important and that's also for Lucho after many years in Honda get kind of a big trust from them and also a new chapter also for him. Lucky Lucho to got you. Um, despite from Mark we've seen so many riders uh, joining Honda and struggling a lot but for you it seems like a completely different story. It's just uh, five races and I would say most of the time you're the fastest of the Honda riders. 
Are you surpri surprised a bit by yourself that you can adapt that quickly on a completely different bike? Uh, uh, I mean, I'm not surprised that I can adapt and I really try always the best. Then I'm not doing like Mark was doing that he's doing a, he, he did a huge difference compared to the others. Me, I'm not doing this huge difference. Uh, and I like the, to have ah, the, um, overall Johan Mir that you see that he's He's fighting and uh, he has this spirit that he will not uh, give up the the challenge and I like this. But me, I want to to be yeah, the, at least the first on the rider and be uh, bring the project as high as possible. And um, fortunately, with the experience, I can enjoy even in the difficult time. So that is the difference at the moment that I have a step back. Good things have been written, but good things will be um, written or so soon or not, but uh, will be written and uh, and I enjoy it. That's, that's why I can stay cool and don't get this pressure that oh, maybe maybe it won't be possible. No, I'm having this uh, vision from I, I think is helping me a lot to give the right energy on the bike. Sounds amazing how you can handle that from coming from the probably best bike on the grid to maybe not one of the most famous seats like I say it like that. Um, but you attend every weekend with the same approach that you could fight uh, for podiums. I've read in another interview from you. I think that's that's really impressive. How can you keep that motivation that high? How did you get to that point? I didn't say that I'm coming like I'm, I will fight for the podium. I know that I will not fight for the podium when I'm arriving to a race weekend. Instead, if we have big changes but uh, in the meteo, or this can give some opportunities. But I say, because we must accept that the material is not ready yet. Okay, try to work as we are fighting for the podium on many details, just to improve some tense every lap, that this can make a difference that from finishing 15, maybe you can get an 11th position or a 10th position and uh, so when I say that we take the, the topic as we want we fight for the podium it's more to catch few tenths by lap every lap like yeah rock on details because at the moment we will not have big things to to change totally the bike so as 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 long we cannot change the base or get this feeling that yes now the bike is competitive at least keep the the spirit of uh, of the right job doing a race weekend and it looks like you have a really good uh, time with uh, the team being totally positive all the time being a really good um, entertainer in this uh, paddock not only with your legendary backflip you're also playing the guitar the piano are there some other hidden talents we should be aware of uh, no 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 <laughs> uh, i like the music I'm not dancing, I would like to dance uh, well <laughs> <laughs> and uh, overall dance with a partner. That's something okay. I'm not able to do it. So I'm playing the music to uh, charm the partner, but I cannot dance. <laughs> and uh, I love to do things, I love to discover things. So <clears throat> that's why uh, I try to enjoy everything. I believe the brain can do a lot. Uh, so. Don't get this limitation. Uh, then, in in the motorbike, I want to be. That's my job, and I want to perform as much as possible. And what makes me feel good, with all these changes I got this year, uh, I really feel that hey, I, I can uh, really look a bit uh, more far than uh, than twenty twenty five season. So. That gives a, a good feeling and I need to stimulate all these things with also different uh, entertainment on the side. Talking about the changes to start this new chapter, you also decided to move to Spain for the first time. How is it going so far? Move to Andorra. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But we can see Spain, but it's <laughs> Andorra. But really, I cannot hide it. The first reason is uh, the tax, tax things. Uh, I mean, uh, we sometimes it's a pity but we have to skip away from the country just to save i need to save uh, 
a bit more money and uh, because it's ridiculous to give uh, 65% of uh, what you earn to the state. But it means you're missing France? I'm not missing France. I thought I will miss France, but now I moved. That's why I say first reason was a money, a money reason. But then I am discovering that there are many other reasons that I can enjoy a, a new country, help to start a new kind of life, give another motivation and give this possibility to, on the sports side, keep going up. And that's, uh, that's it's so nice because it gives a really fresh feeling. And some people ask me, uh, now, next year, I will be the one that uh, will be the oldest in the category. But I think the fresh feeling I have, I'm feeling more fresh than maybe some uh, riders that will be 26 or 27 next year. Looks like you did a lot of things uh, right uh, the last few months. Um, with this new chapter, that also means you have to find a new role, maybe new targets. Do you see yourself as the one maybe bringing Honda back to the winning ways within the next years? I will be so proud of it, uh, so proud of it. And uh, I would love to, to be uh, this guy or one of these guys that can bring the project back to this level of uh, a winning bike. And me still be fit to and able uh, as a rider to to, to win races. Uh, why not? So uh, yeah, I, I hope uh, the story will be in that way. What would you say is it that is missing within the team, despite uh, the technical part, uh, the bike that has to be better? What is it that you can bring in? Oh. Me, I say always to Honda that I will never say uh, I need a new fork, I need a new engine. Or I'm not a technician, so I don't want to say what I need. But I can explain what I have to do on the track, what the rider has to do. And from this comment that they can understand how to make a winning bike. And what I can bring, I think, is this capacity to uh analyze uh the other riders and also analyze what a rider has to do uh on the track so um, yeah and take all the problems in consideration not be focused only on one and forget the rest so uh, that's not an advantage for me sometimes to take too many things in consideration because uh, a champion uh, a champion rider has all the way very clear in the mind and Almost the less you think, the better you go. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. But at the moment, to develop a bike, you need to think a bit more. <laughs> so I hope I will, I'm able to think now. But when things will go right, will go in the right way, I will have to cancel a bit <laughs> everything in the mind to, to don't think and just, just go. What is your feeling? How long will it take? When can we see the first progress? I hope in this season we will have it. Uh, if we can have it this season, it will give, um, I think, a very good and important energy for, for the winter between 24 and 25. And um, it will give also uh, the um, bigger hopes for 25. Like if things start to work in 24, you feel that you're on the good way. If not, uh, winter can get a bit harder. Tough. So you find your way into this uh, championship within uh, the Red Bull Rookies Cup. You were the first overall uh, champion there. What would you say have been the most important things you learned on your way? Maybe things you can now tell young riders. I mean, I have good remember uh, of the Rookies Cup, uh, but I was already the oldest uh, rider in Rookies Cup when oh, really? I started it. Yes, because okay. I was. 16, 17, it was my year of my 17th birth and everyone was 15 or 14 in this category. So I think I, I got the advantage because I was 17 that you're, you begin to be a man. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what I remember, it's uh, the one of the first advice of uh, uh, Gustel to put my elbow inside the fairing to get faster in the straight. And I see now, every time on every picture, even on a super poor full bike, I got this natural position. And this, as soon he told me it, 
I could keep it for all, uh, and that's the base of a rider, but that has been one of the first uh, advice that I remember it. And um, what was good in the Rockies Cup that you have the perfect condition for race, because you're on the good track, mm -hmm. the bike, they are safe, they are well, uh, there are good mechanics on it to ride in safe condition. And um, so you can work on yourself, not being scared. And that's, uh, I think, uh, was a good thing. And it's still a good thing because there may be sometimes some championship when uh, the bikes, they are not fixed by professional guys. Finally, it can be dangerous for, for a child. And uh, Rookies Cup gives this all this support of the of the technical side to let the rider uh, improve himself. We are also following a bit excited uh, your work with Emily Bondi. How can you help her to get better? Yeah, I want to uh, do a correction on uh, what I've been saying in, in Le Mans because they say that I'm coaching Emily, but not. I got only one training with her, but then we Mentoring could Mentoring a bit, maybe. Is it like that? Mm. No, the, the, the real uh, coach is Xavier Simeon, the Belgium uh, ex-rider, Moto2 rider and endurance rider. Also, I think he did a year in MotoGP. I'm good friend with Xavier and uh, he told me about Emily that she has strong character and uh, she has really, she, she wants to train, she wants to improve and have this character. She has a real hunger. That's quite uh, important uh, in the competition. What I could discover in, uh, in January when I met her is um, how she, she takes all the advice that uh, we can say. And me, I, I'm seeing so many things on, on the track because I, I've been thinking about it and I'm still thinking about the track, the lines, the position. It's like, uh, it's inside me. So naturally I can... Uh, say something when I see something and um, there is another French girl also the name is Ornella Ongaro okay she's older than Emily but what is fun that uh, I've been racing against her in 1999 or in 2000 she has been my, almost my first uh, adversary Ornella and uh, like when I was 10 until 12 years old we we were from almost the same town and um, and we have been racing together. So, yes, yeah, she has been one of my first adversary. And when I saw the name in the in the championship, I say, wow, that's kind of uh, kind of nice and, and funny. At the beginning of the interview, you told us uh, for now, the French fans uh, can decide to be Team Zarco or Team Quateraro, but um, Concerning Moto2, Moto3, there is no real French hero rising at uh, the moment. How do you see that? It could be uh, an interview of another hour if we speak about I it. I can imagine. There <laughs> um, has been some difficult time. Um, the invest of uh, the right people, having also the, the right uh, money to do it, because motorbike is uh, an expensive uh, sport so Italia and Spain always have been able to to manage it better and get more riders uh, at the base to then get some exception uh, in France we don't have enough rider at the base uh, to then find one exception like if you think you get a good rider is uh, the best rider because he's the only one so finally he has no one to, to fight against and um, so that's our limit in France and uh, but they're working on it I'm f seeing and feeling that can be a new generation they are now I think 12 years old yeah 10 12 so I hope in five six years hope we will be have we will have maybe four five names that I hope will uh, grow up in the world championship I really hope so. I mean, it's uh, the same for Germany and Austria, same story. So hoping for better days um, in the future. <laughs> yeah, it's true that uh, for, for Austria, for Germany, even then Holland or mm. England, they have another passion and they have also now this championship that can bring things. 
But the advantage they have in Spain during the winter is the meteo. So they can go for training because um, it's not too cold. And when the child is training, he's doing his online things. But sometimes when MotoGP rider is coming and he's riding and a child is seeing like uh, the idol and he tried to follow. And so they are they almost every weekend when a child is uh, training, he gets an example of one of the best riders in the world. So he just tried to copy. Hmm. And by copying like this, they, they reach a very high level. So that's the advantage of South uh, European country. So they have the meteo and uh, they can see the best riders. Plus the rules also. Uh, in more north uh, countries, or, uh, there are some rules uh, that so many limitations for the track and is not giving the opportunity to ride in Spain. Even if the track is closed, they open it. But because almost if a rider gets some injury, they won't have an insurance problem. And uh, that's, uh, it's important to be safe and well organized. But sometimes, like in the Spain, I don't know Italy, because more in Spain, there are more freedom. So they are lucky maybe that it's holding, but uh, that gives the opportunity just to, to have training. So maybe we can learn a bit uh, from them. Focusing on uh, this weekend here in Barcelona. Sorry, I spoke a lot, but... It, uh, definitely, you have... Uh, but we have to be precise on <laughs> when, uh, when we explain the things. You have to race a bit uh, this weekend here <laughs> in Barcelona. So good memories here for you. What do you think is possible this weekend? Now it's your home. Do you think the Spanish crowd can also cheer for you here? Yeah, but there are also so many French. All the south of France is coming to Barcelona oh, really? because okay. it's, it's closer Barcelona than Le Mans. Than Le Mans. Okay. And the Barcelona city is a bit more <laughs> nice than Le Mans. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> so, so, yeah, we have many French crowd also here. And I think uh, we, uh, I will enjoy the, the French flags uh, around the track. And I would love to be in the top 10. That's something I say something is possible mm. we need to have some uh, luck also and some like uh, miss luck from the other riders to then catch the a opportunity yeah but uh, yeah it's a good track uh, that I like I got good result so why not get a bit more points um, after this uh, three days weekend then all the best for that thank you so much Merci.